Hey, I'm Sarah Bareilles, and you're watching Billboard.com. Sitting right in front of me is someone that I've always wondered about, and now I wonder no more because she's right here. Sarah, thank you so much. Nice to meet thank you. you. Nice. I'm a massive fan. <laughs> I was so excited to come here today. I am a massive <laughs> fan of yours. I mean, I love it. I was just on my way here, I'm thinking, it, you're like a happy pill, which <laughs> not always, not which all the time. is sometimes your songs are very honest, your music are very honest, your lyrics are honest. Sometimes they're very hard hitting, mm. but it's still a happy pill for some reason. How do you get that magic together? I think for a while there, I got really excited about the juxtaposition of saying something that was really sort of dark and sassy and pointed. But if you make it sound happy, like a song like Love Song or King of Anything, they're yeah. both like basically telling someone off. Yeah. But if you sort of wrap it up in a sunny sounding song, that to me was kind of, it was just interesting. And I was playing a lot with that. And then more recently, I've gotten a little more direct on my, on my songs. So my angry songs sound a little more angry right now, but it might just be a phase. That guy's an asshole. There is one song on this new album that is quite, quite tough. Yeah. It's got some pretty naughty words in it. Is it harder to do something like that where you are letting all that sort of energy and like swear words mm -hmm. and stuff and trying to make it fit into the context of the feeling of the song? I thought it was harder as well and that's where I have to give a lot of credit to Ben Folds who produced this. Oh, this is this. your friend this as well. This is my so dear, dear friend, friend. and uh, produced this this EP and he gave me a great piece of advice and he's like just as long as it's coming from you and it's what you want to say it doesn't matter I think we spend a lot of energy on trying to make the song sound cohesive but sometimes the songs aren't cohesive and it's right. it's more about it just being a reflection of you as a whole so he said you know his best-selling record was the record where he put the record with all this or the song with all the swear words mm -hmm. next to the really heart-wrenching ballad and so we thought we'd try that formula. <laughs> and it worked? I hope You're so. Happy? I mean, I, I'm sort of known for my uh, uh, colorful vocabulary. I swear like a trucker. I always have. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's a, it's tough for me to turn it off sometimes. Um, so for me, it was fun to sort of write a song that captures what I really think and say sometimes. Right. And to see people... I mean, to me, that song sort of feels like a pirate song, like a pirate drinking song or something. <laughs> and I like the idea of the whole crowd swaying, singing, that guy's an asshole. Like, that's, that's funny to me. So I, I enjoy being in the room when that's happening, so why not? If there's anything I So expectations, do you have them or do you just, like you said, sit back and, and let it take its course? I don't have huge expectations for what this might sell or, you know, I'm, I, I'm really, this wasn't about that. This was more of an artistic expression and, and a love letter to my and fans. To get, yeah, and to get, to get where you want to be yeah, for the next. Stepping stone, yeah, and, it's, and I'm really proud of the little morsel it turned out to be and so now I get to just watch what happens, which is great. What is up in that little beehive do of yours that um, that's buzzing for the next little treat? Um, lots of new songs. There's, I have a hundred new little morsels that are kind of percolating. Um, and I'm actually approaching this next record. I'm open to co-writing for the first time, which I've always been very sort of closed off to. And it doesn't mean that every song will be co-written or any song will be co-written, but the process of just like opening myself up to that has been really fun. I already have a handful of songs that I'm really excited about. So I'm hoping the writing goes much quicker for this record than the last half. And she is bright light. Is there an artist out there that you would actually duet with? There's 10 you, million I mean, you've artists, done, yeah. You've, you've done your... I want, I, I feel like I need to, I have to hone it in and I want to campaign for Chris Martin of Coldplay. Okay. And or CeeLo Green. Those are my two. Please say goodbye to your fans. <laughs> goodbye, darling fans. I love you.